So people ask me about the dumb money deal all the time. They say, why do you sell a resealed box? And the reality is we didn't sell a resealed box. The collectibles guru, friend of the show, tweeted at me, called me. What did he say I was again? A clout chaser. That was it. He called me a clout chaser. So the collectibles guru, I made a full video on him and Logan Paul's expert and the biggest scam in Pokemon history, the collectibles guru. I think the collectibles guru is trying to clear his name because recently he has been posting on his TikTok and YouTube. First thing he's doing, he's calling out Leon Hart and saying that he wants to fight. Can we just zoom in right here? This is the guy you want to fight? Okay, good luck. Leon Fart. Got him. Leon Fart, that timid hand holder messed with my deal. I still crushed it, but I wanted to say hi. He hid. Stop hiding. Let's talk like men. No. He could play Superman. Y you think that the collectibles guru is going to beat him in a fight? There's no way. If you guys don't know the story, the Collectibles Guru provided the YouTube channel Dumb Money with the first edition Pokemon Booster Box. He explains where he got the box from, that the seller is a friend of his, it's legitimate, but later on in the stream, they find out that the box is actually a resealed box of Pokemon cards. Oh, the color's different on that one than that one. That one's not a first edition pack. <gasps> That's Wait, an what? issue. This is an unlimited pack. It turned out the cards inside the box were resealed, it was a fake first edition base set booster box. He's the one that came up with the deal and it, it backfired on him. Now he's blaming Leon Hart and saying that he tried to scam him. Look at the TikTok that he made. So, so this is the Dallas card show. The collectibles guru with all of his shiny glory went to the Dallas card show to find Leon Hart. Looking for Leon Hart at the Dallas card show. He lives here. Act like a little bee and I'll come say hi, kissy face. What is wrong with this guy? He lied to my buyer, called me a scammer, then offered 20% less. What is he talking about? Called me a sc Is he not a scammer? I think we established that he is a scammer. He willingly sold these people a box that was resealed. I don't know. Kind of sus. This is a resealed box. Oh my box. god, it's a resealed box. Somebody told me, I think in one of my comment section, check out the Collectibles Guru's most recent video. Collectibles Guru, the Logan Paul expert, the dumb money $375,000 Pokemon deal. This interview discusses the dumb money 375k first edition Pokemon box sale. Insane topics from Logan Paul to Pokemon massive deals discussed. Why does he talk like he's some sort of savant? He talks like he's the Wolf of Wall Street and Donald Trump wrapped into one. Huge deal, amazing, great things happened. Insane topics, massive deals. Relax, I didn't watch this video yet, so let me see what we- Jake, otherwise known as Collectibles Guru on Instagram and TikTok, AKA JB the Crypto King on Twitter. Okay, nobody cares what you're- AKA is. First question that always comes up is, what happened with the dumb money deal on YouTube? Great question. What did happen to the dumb money deal on YouTube? Because everyone would like to know. The comments are atrocious. People hate this guy. The like to dislike ratio, 781 dislikes and 115 of his own accounts that he probably thumbs up. So after knowing the 375k Pokemon box was fake and valuing a Bulbasaur at 30k, you still think that you're an expert? Great question, Strong Armor. Ah, so that is a great question. As you guys know, I'm one of the influencers or one of the bigger sellers in the Pokemon community. Okay. And one of the largest buyers, a group by the name of Dumb Money, who is an investment group on both social media from Twitter to YouTube. Dumb Money contacted us because they wanted a first edition box. That's the pinnacle of the Pokemon Kingdom. I hate how this guy talks. He talks like he's doing a TED talk. That's the pinnacle. Welcome to my TED talk. I'm gonna be scamming some people today out of thousands of dollars of Pokemon cards. It's the pinnacle of my business. So Dumb Money contacts us for a first edition box and it just so happened that this is the first edition box. This one right here is a real box, but it's been resealed. What? We bought it for $150,000 and by the time of the Dumb Money deal, the box had appreciated to 375,000. What is he talking about? Why is he giving us a lesson in math? We know how the market went up, we get it. We understand that it went up double in price. What's that gonna do with anything? 18 minutes this guy is blathering on. 18 min- oh man, I'd really love to skip through this, but I gotta get all the facts out. So we get there, all three of the individuals look at the box, all three inspect it, all three say it's likely real, so. Whoa, all three inspect it and say that it's likely real? Mmm, nobody said that. You can see Leon Hart's face. The second that Collectibles Guru starts telling everyone where the box is from, 
how long it's been sitting in a gun safe, that he trusts the seller that he bought it off of. That's when everybody was tensing up. The chat was even displaying the same thing. It's resealed, it's resealed, don't trust these guys. Yep. So could there be two packs on top taped together? Yeah. There's always a chance, but based on the cellophane. Does Leon Hart look like he's giving this the okay? Do you guys want to take a quick look as well? Want to take a quick look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah let's of have course, these guys take a quick look and that way we test, can... Which is like... Like, he, he keeps talking about the tests that he did. He's talking about all these tests. But let me skip ahead here to get some context. This is exactly what Leon Hart says. Your initial play on this box, I guess, what would, you, would you guys buy it? I, okay, so honestly, I would not have purchased this box. I, my concerns are the ones that you were saying as far as, you know, right here, right here. Just the normal, but it's like a normal wear of a box that's over 20 years old. I do also want to say as far as like other tests that you can do, you could like just weigh the overall box. I don't know from y'all's experience. You take a look at like the seal itself. Um, sometimes the color of the seal, I've noticed on fake ones before, is a little bit more blue. But, um, so if that's one of the many ways, but if you want to take a look real quick. He has so many concerns. The saran is identical. It lines up right across the middle of the boxes. He sounds nervous. Clear red flag. He just said, I would not have bought it because of how dinged up it is. Clear red flags. But let's go back to the collectibles guru here because he said that everyone gave it the A-OK. -okay when Leonhard didn't give the okay. Next step, gotta crack it, gotta make sure it's real. Slice it open. Talking so slow, we're gonna have, but let's turn up the, let's turn up the speed to 1.5. The box was resealed. So yep. I didn't even realize I was mic'd. I was so livid, I got on the phone instantly and called the person who I bought it from. I told him two days earlier that we were opening the box live and to be prepared if there was an issue with it because I'd be needing my money back. Um, he answered immediately. I didn't even realize I was mic'd for the entire thing and the entire thing was recorded of me basically. Once again, he's trying to claim innocence. He's like, I was mic'd the entire time. You guys can hear me talking on the phone. I was mic'd. I had no idea that there was a mic in front of me. Check, check. Hello. Check, check. Yeah, I'm on the phone right now. Am I mic'd? Of course he knows he was mic'd. Here we go. There's, Question there's time. There's a lot of haters coming on your TikToks. Um, just kind of coming out of the woodworks. Where are all these guys coming from? No one cares where they're coming from. I want to hear about Leon Hart. Jealous of the work I was doing with Logan. And so they made a lot of troll videos on YouTube. Oh, ooh, troll videos. He, he's calling me a troll. I'm a troll. Guys, I'm a troll. People who are not on Logan's level got exceptionally jealous of the work I was doing with Logan, and so they made a lot of troll videos on YouTube. Those YouTube videos got me a ton of attention, but it was negative attention. So I appreciate the clout and the attention that they gave me because they gave me millions of views, but the reality is all those people yelling scammer, there's not one that's ever done a deal with me. There's not one that really can afford to do deals with me. Once again, he's talking about how much money he is. He has nobody can afford to do deals with him. He said that when he tweeted me, he was like, the people calling me scammer don't have the money to deal with me. That's why they're calling me a scam. But guys, I'm a troll. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be a troll. I know. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I love that he's always talking about clout chasing. When you go on his TikTok and there's one TikTok about Logan Paul, two, three, four. Like how many times is he going to talk about this? Five? Like I, I'm, I'm chasing clout, guys. Six? Right here. Here we go. Seven? This one is just a, a, the same video he, he posted from before. But I have WWE wrestlers I sell to. I have oh, NFL players. That NFL. I, sell to. I have celebrities. I have movie stars. Celebrities. I have actors, actresses. I sell to literally the entire point zero zero one percent of the population, and that makes people exceptionally jealous. So I started pivoting money into Pokemon because I thought it was a beautiful art form that can be moved around the world and appreciated. And on top of it, is he admitting that he's using Pokemon cards basically to? But like launder money? He's like, I have so much money in cryptocurrency, but people don't know how much Pokemon cards are worth. So I put my money in Pokemon cards and make it back. It sounds like he's like laundering money. What's your favorite place that you've ever traveled to? What? We don't need to see any of this. What do you like to do on the weekends? Nobody cares. Look, let's read these comments because these comments are pretty telling of what's going on. Because he's replying to everything. This guy here says, Leon Hart said specifically that he would not have bought this box. And then he replies, he was live on stream, watch it. He said he thought it was real. Both experts did. Oh yeah, that's right. And I'm pretty sure he said the opposite. He's like, red flag. Honestly, I would not have purchased this box. Faceless trolls make me viral. I think he enjoys the hate. Another one he liked. Why are you guys still watching him? Bruh. Kissy face. He's relentless. Goofy balds. He liked it. And he says, your girlfriend is on her way back. 
he's still he's still he's still talking about people's girlfriends. His best comebacks are you don't have enough money to do business with me. His second best comeback, your girlfriend is more into me than you. His third best comeback, tell your sister to come over sometime. I'm sure she'd love me. I'm only reading the comments, like all these comments are gold basically, but I'm only reading the ones that he actually liked. Lol, three experts. If you're an expert, I'm Charizard. <laughs> what? That was the dumbest. This dude is 100% on dope. And then he replies, I do smoke, bro. At 23.50 in the stream, you say you didn't know about opening it that day. And that's a point that I made. I, I said specifically, when he got there, he was so nervous because he's like, oh, wait, you want to open it now? I don't know if you actually wanted to open yes, it. Yes, we're going we're gonna to open. Let's have it open like, on camera live so we know we're not doing anything weird with the packs. No problem. Um, the owner of the box. No problem. No problem. He had no idea. He was so shaken. I don't know why he thinks he can fight Leon Hart. The guy is built. For a guy who opens Pokemon cards for a living, he's so buff. Okay, look, here's Leon Hart. First of all, let's talk about the packs. Let's talk about these biceps. He could play Superman. Y you think that the collectibles guru is gonna beat him in a fight? There's no way, but that's it. I, it's, I have, have nothing else to say. Pokemon guru still sus. Not only is he trying to clear his name for some reason, he could he could have just like let it go. But instead, he's constantly talking about it and talking to trolls. I love trolls and reposting old videos talking about him and Logan Paul. Logan Paul bought six boxes. Not one of those boxes were bought from the collectibles guru. I wonder why. 